forecast prompting Governor Kathy Hochul to declare a state of emergency with that, and she's sending 100 National Guard members to our region to help with the emergency response. And travel bans for trucks on the thruway take effect tomorrow at 9 a.m. So empty or tandem trailers are not allowed between Rochester and Pennsylvania's state line. But it's not just the governor's office taking precaution. Now, we checked in with several local leaders today about their preparations. Buffalo's mayor says that he believes the city is ready for this significant snowfall of the season. Seven News anchor Jeff Russo asks city leadership about the GPS software in the plows, and the city says it's good to go. Confident in that, so the GPS is functional. It is showing tracking. It's live now, so we've got that. Uh, that system is operational. So, and that, again, that gives the insight of kind of where we've been over the past 24 hours in the city. How big of a help is that for you when that is working correctly? You know, from our standpoint, I think uh, we have an internal GPS that has the technical data that we use from an operational standpoint. The, the GPS that the public sees, I think, is really important from a communication sharing, kind of where we're at, how we're handling the city, what, what progress we're making, um, and it'll kind of be dictated, the, the response to that is dictated where the snow is going to be ultimately. So we, we think it's a great transparency to just show where we are. We also spoke with Orchard Park authorities preparing for this storm and a Bills playoff game this weekend. The chief of police says that he's bulking up his staff for Sunday and he's in close contact with the county and state to make sure people are safe. And Sunday's Bill Ga Bills game is top of mind for a lot of folks with this bad weather on the radar. The team says the game is still on for 1 p.m. against the Steelers, but they're tracking the storm carefully. I mean, the weather is the weather and Mother Nature you know, wins the game most of the time, right? So we're not arguing with her and uh, we're going to work in concert with her and then whatever she gives us, we're going to do our very best to address and make sure we play that game on Sunday. If something happens where a decision's made, you know, collectively with the county, the state, the, um, you know, the, the NFL and the team, then we'll, we'll make uh, those adjustments like we have in years past. Anticipating plenty of snow ahead of Sunday, the Bills are hiring people to help shovel around the stadium. If you're over 18 and looking to help, the team is asking those interested to come down to One Bills Drive tomorrow at 10 p.m. They're offering a $20 an hour uh, compensation with food and breaks provided. Go Bills! Some truckers I spoke with here at Jim's Truck Plaza tell me that they're on their way to get away from the incoming snowstorm that's headed right here to western New York. So I've got a heavy load on. I'm, I'm heavy, so that's a lot better when this, with this kind of weather. Meet trucker Mike Gimble. He's been on the road for 40 years, so this incoming winter storm isn't going to phase him, and he's ready to make it to his destination just before the tractor-trailer bans take effect Saturday morning. I'm going to Joplin, Missouri, because I deliver down there Monday, and I'm just going down here to Madison, Ohio, to the loves down there, and that's where I'll stay the night at. Hopefully it doesn't get as bad down there as what it's supposed to get. So, Mike has this message for any new truckers that may be facing their first snowstorm. Be paying attention to what your surroundings, road conditions, and if there's no spray coming off the road when you're driving down it, but it's shiny, that's ice. So yeah, slow it down. Just pay attention to what you're doing, especially the overpasses and bridges because they're, the, they're what's freezes first. Many truckers like Mike come here to Jim's Truck Plaza, where they'll be serving their customers no matter what old man winter has in store. We're always open 24 seven, uh, no matter the weather. The only times that we lock up is during uh, blackouts. Russell says Jim's learned from the Christmas 2022 blizzard. After what happened last year, uh, I think that we're definitely prepared enough for the storm. If you really need somewhere to go to get a cup of coffee, if you're working out here, uh, just come over to Jim's. We'll, we'll still be open. Until then, truckers like Mike will be on the road ready for whatever comes. Four-wheelers or driving the cars and stuff, just pay attention to the trucks and try not to cut them off. Cause we can't stop on a dime like you guys can. Be safe and have a good year. In Chictawaga, Jocelyn Person, 7 News.